Hey there, internet friends. I'm Ryan, and this is Demos in the Dark, and we have the lights on, which means one thing. It's guitar day. About a year and a half ago, I was working a pedal event at Chicago Music Exchange. And after the pedal event was over, I was in a guitar shop. So, uh, and if you've ever been to Chicago Music Exchange, you know that you walk in and the first thing you see is this huge wall of Les Pauls. And then from there, every centimeter of wall space in that huge showroom is filled with guitars. And they're from all over the world, all you know, vintage, new, everything. And I was looking for something that maybe I hadn't tried before, or you know, maybe even something I hadn't heard of before. And then I saw this. It was just like this. Um, it was a bunting Alice. Uh, the one there was black, and it had a gold foil pickup in the neck. And uh, Matthew from Alexander and Disaster Area and I took it into an amp room and I just beat the crap out of that guitar and loved every second of it. It was great. It was a great guitar, but it was black. And I don't really do black guitars because they don't show up very well in the dark. So I left it at Chicago Music Exchange. And Matthew and I went to a Sox game that night and I thought about it all the way through the Sox game. Thought about it on the flight home to Minneapolis and thought about it for months and months and months and months afterward. And sometime later, uh, the guys from Bunting and I connected over Instagram. And uh, sometime after that, we decided it was time to build me my very own Bunting Alice to my specifications and made just for me. And I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna throw it here in a mix on all of the guitar tracks. And then we'll go back over to the dark. We'll talk about some of the specs on this guitar. Let's dive into some of the things that make the Bunting Alice cool and unique. First off, it's a short scale 
24 and a half inch length neck. That's similar to some Gretsch's and a few PRS guitars like the Santana models. Shorter scale, less string tension, warmer and fuller sound. But then you put this Tele bridge and pickup set in there and you got something entirely different. The body is uh, German spruce and the whole thing weighs under six pounds. It's finished with a proprietary mix of oil and pigments with a clear shellac on top. To me, it feels light and breathable like nitro. The neck is a Bosnian maple, which is traditionally used in Italian violin and cello luthery. It is more lightweight than the North American maple that we're all used to on fenders. Um, it's also a bit more open. And then they finish it with wax and oil. The fretboard is Indian rosewood, with clay dots, the fret wire is a Jeskar 47090, which is just slightly shorter than the 6105 medium fret wire. And it's finished off with a bone nut unbleached hand cut. We have a Glendale bridge with a wolf tone broadcaster style pickup. Lots of bite here to wrestle with the short scale length. On the neck, we have a Mojo Firebird pickup, lots of clarity. I love this pickup. I really love this pickup. If you never built a custom guitar and little of what I just said makes any sense to you, that's great. I actually came into this with some preconceived ideas about what I wanted the guitar to be that Bunting actually talked me out of in our two hour call, matching the specs of this guitar to me as a player. This neck pickup that I love so much, not my idea. I wanted something completely different, but they were right. This is the pickup for me. The customer service end at Bunting is truly second to none, and I highly recommend taking the call if you pull the trigger on a custom build. Right, let's start with some clean sounds. Um, I'm running into a Benson Amps Monarch Reverb. And uh, we'll start on the neck pickup, which is that Firebird from Mojo. Move over to the middle pickup. And then we'll move to the bridge. The thing I love about this bridge is it's got some bite to it. Um, and it is not too bright. It doesn't like it doesn't give you that ice picky thing, uh, but it does have lots of punch to it. Thank you. 
All right, so I kicked on a uh, Paul Cochran Timmy V3, get a little bit of the uh, kind of dirt noises on this thing, and uh, we'll start with the bridge pickup and work our way to the neck. <laughs> Over the middle. up. Try a little bit of fuzz. I have a a uh, brute fuzz from Spiral Electric. So you have it. There is just a brief look at a guitar that if you are subscribed to this channel, and I hope you are, uh, you're going to see a lot of. I'm going to use this guitar a ton. This is the Alice from Bunting, and I am smitten. Mm -hmm. 